that maybe now you don't gotta believe it but uh this one her website it's like an 8.5 rating <laughs> it's like an 8.5 rating i'm a girl, bro. it's good son it's, it's we were talking about this before the podcast, Lena, but Invincible season two is out. Hey. Uh, episode one has been released. And so um, I've been out, what, every Wednesday or every Thursday. I think it's like Fridays, actually, bro. Honestly, I think it's okay. like Fridays that it's coming out. Man, no, so, it came out, uh, I think, on the second, right? What was that? Yeah, but that was five days ago. Yeah. So that second was a. No, that's Thursday. Let me see when Invincible comes out. I don't think they come out there early. All right, I'll check it out. But anyways, this is a good show. Yeah. Me and Lena really like it. Season one Top came out tier. back in 2021, so it's been highly acclaimed. It said season one 13. was season one was crazy. Season that listen that I season one episode one and a season finale crazy. I mean, the season in between was good too, but like yeah. episode one and episode eight. Psh, no. But see, and this was because Lena, I'm gonna pick up behind the scenes a little bit. That's what I'm saying to me. Once I see something to me that gets like a 10, I gotta scale everything accordingly. You know what I'm saying? Like when I see something like what it can be, certain shows, it's like, all right, man. Well, now if you don't hit this certain level, like okay, you can't be a 10, you might be a 9.5, 9, you know what I'm saying? All these different things. So to me, I give season one a 10 so far. Um, I guess we give people a time a little bit to watch it, season one and even season two. It's only eight episodes, the first one, they're less than an hour. Um, season two. Uh, we could probably get a review next week, maybe I'm thinking, but I don't think it's quite as good so far. Episode one versus episode one, it's but hard. I do like it's hard. Going it's hard. It. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. It's gonna be hard to they hit. Mean, yeah, it's gonna be hard to hit the same man. Episode one last se- uh, season one was like, yeah, bro, shocking. One of the best opening episodes for sure I've ever seen, especially at the end. Like, if you're watching, if you guys go and watch, you might be thinking, oh, what's going on? Watch it to the end. I guarantee, dog. I guarantee the first I episode. I guarantee you're going to watch episode two. Absolutely. Absolutely. You'll be you'll be watching episode two, and it's a really good show. I don't know if you saw they talk about the cast, too. The cast is going to continue to grow, which I'm pretty excited about. Sterling K. Brown is in this one. We've already seen his character. They've introduced some new characters as well. Um, and so... I, even I'm looking at this poster here, man. There's some characters we haven't even seen. Like this yeah, guy's in the orange. Too. Yeah, this guy in the orange, we haven't seen him. This other guy, there's a few people we haven't even seen. So I'm really excited, man. There's a lot of storylines to go on for it. And so if you guys good have voice watched, acting, very good voice acting, very good, good storyline. Uh you know, it's it, it seems like a traditional superhero, but it's not. Not. It's not. It's, it's not. Like they they like they just did enough to where it's like it's on it's his own thing. And it, uh, I like it. I like it. I like the universe that they they creating with it, man. It's dope. So we we can talk about it more in depth next see uh, next week. Episodes one and two, we'll give a recap. Uh, a couple of new shows too, Leland. Have you seen the boys on Amazon? Uh, no. You haven't seen the boys? Oh wow. I mean, okay. I, I haven't seen the last episode. I, I've seen the boys, bro. Okay, I just, I'm just not caught up. Caught up on. There's a new show called Gen V, which is set in the same universe. I like it a lot, bro. I like it a lot. Um, Better than the boys. Not necessarily, but also to me too. I think you also we talk about what makes the show good too. You get some points for novelty. Like had this maybe came out before the boys did, maybe so. But because so, the boys, it's a show on Amazon about superheroes as well. But this is live action, and it shows them like being kind of like scandalous and you know um, flawed individuals and killing people and different things. You know what I'm saying? Which I haven't really seen like that on the right. big screen, you know what I mean? It's almost like, you know how Batman is kind of like layered and stuff like that. A lot of the characters are layered, not just like a good guy. And it also shows like a universe. What if people were trying to monetize off superheroes and stuff like that? And so since the boys came first, I give it credit. And that's also why too, I think subsequent seasons maybe haven't quite been as good as season one, because once that novelty factor wears off, you need to now come with a really strong storyline. But overall, I think on Flix Tour or beat that maybe. No, you don't gotta believe it. But uh, this one, her website, it's like an eight point five rating. <laughs> it's like an eight point five rating. I'm agree with it, bro. It's good, son. It's it's eight point five. I, I would agree with that rating, man. I like it a lot. Bro. Yeah, I like nah. It. I, I mean, a lot of people, a lot of people uh, like the boys. Uh, I, talking about this show here, I think it's a little bit under the radar. But, yeah, I think Ashley started it. Uh, then you started, babe. But uh, bro, even bloody. The only thing is, it's even more graphic than the boys. Like clearly, which is crazy, dog. That, that see that that's that's literally my problem with the boys. It's like, crazy, bro. It's it, way like, more graphic. The, like yeah. the boys, the first man, first season, son. Borderline disturbing, son. Like it could be. Like depending Episode. on how depending on how your stomach sit, man, you might be like, mm, 
And that's probably the only reason why I caught up to it. Cause I'm like, that's bro, they, they 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 go too crazy sometimes. Like they they like look for me, it's kind of like the whole thing we talked about us, right? Like yeah. I hate shows that I feel like are trying to invoke something out of me. True. Like like I feel when I feel like the boys are they're, they're trying to discuss like they're you're trying to push me to the point where I'm Definitely like, oh, this v. is too much. Definitely in Gen V. F- funny enough, Latanya actually ended up watching the first episode just random, just on the website. Like, oh, good radio. Let me see what's up. I was like college kids, whatever. Right. Um, Maybe then the first three minutes, bro, you, you're talking about a scene where like the enti- like multiple people exploding and like the whole bathroom just covered and stuff. It's like, bro, this is crazy. You know what I'm saying? But then like the first four minutes so i push through that and i'm the storyline is actually good though i like where they're going with it it's a really cool storyline basically there's this university i forgot the name of it um and basically it has like all the superheroes and they're kind of training them to be up next to be in the seven and stuff like that and it's pretty wild bro so the storyline they have cohen is a pretty strong storyline man so it's pretty I can good see that. and the last sleeper show for you though the one thing i do want you to watch though there's this show called pantheon i stumbled upon this bro i stumbled upon this girl, bro uh, it was originally like on Prime. Then it was AMC. I don't. Remember. I can't remember who has it. It's either was AMC first and went to Prime, or Prime first okay. and went to AMC. Bro, when I tell you this joint here, it's about like AI a little bit. Uh, actually, a lot of bit about AI, or actually they call it like uploaded intelligence. Like basically, people bringing their minds instead of artificial intelligence, bringing our minds like put them on a computer and stuff like that. Some crazy fighting scenes, actually, man. It's a cool show, bro. Um, Animated. Okay. Animated, but bro, at certain points in this show, and it didn't hit that level for me. I was legit. I think I texted you and a few other people like, "Now nah, y'all got." Did, did I text you about this with Leland or no? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I think I texted other people because there's mad shows I be texting you about. But this one here, I was like, bro. At one point, it was like a ten, maybe halfway through episode season one. I was like, bro, like five, six episodes in, like this show crazy, dog. So it's got like the drama, it's got the twists and stuff and it turns as well. The action is great. Uh, Storyline okay. is really strong too. So. That's a sleeper show, man. If you ever get time, and it's right on Amazon Prime, so you can just watch that at any point. But I'll um, check it out. That's a sleeper one. Also, it's not even graphic like the boys and stuff for Gen V. So if you like, if you couldn't do the boys, Gen V is definitely more graphic, dog. So, but Pantheon's a really good one, man. It's only two seasons, and the, the series is over. Actually, it's done now. Uh, so season like two it. came out. I'm few, already, I'm already sold. Yeah, season two came out a few weeks ago, and I saw it. You know, what I'm saying on the, on the website, and I'm like, okay, what's this talking about? And then watch both seasons, and I was like. It's good. So, yeah, some good shows coming out, man. Hopefully some more. There's probably more stuff coming out. I know the writer strike or the actor strike. One of them is over. Maybe both. And so we should have some more good TV coming out soon, man. Good TV and movies. So.